Hey y'all, welcome back to another video here on the From the Farmyard podcast. We are back with another garden tour. It's that time of month again. We're going to show you what's been happening in the garden over the past month. Let's get into it. So typically I always start with the produce garden, but today we're going to switch it up. We're going to start with my garden, the flower garden. Now, there's a lot of things happening in here. And I did this in the morning because I would like to show off all the morning glories that are just like blooming like crazy. So let's let's walk through this garden because it's it's a jungle. Lots of flowers opening, lots of things happening. We have our morning glory trellis. You can see it's absolutely beautiful. They're just they're going crazy. And then this one, these uh they they never flowered, uh, but these are morning glories. They just kind of opened up and uh, just leaves. But the Morning Glory TP, in all its glory, um, see at this point it's getting it's it's getting hard to sit in here. And these are these are new. Um, I think these. Um, I don't know if these are these. Or if I planted the wrong thing, but I'm I'm just now noticing that we have some purple purple ones in here. So I don't know what that is, but that's that's new. Ooh. B. Um. But yeah, morning glories are doing awesome. So in our first row, get through the jungle. Um, first row, we have our zinnias. I'm a big fan of these this year. Um, I've never grown flowers before ever. This is my first time growing flowers, and you can see, like, there's a lot going on in here, a lot. Um, but never grown flowers before, so I'm really, really impressed with these zinnias. Um, I, I like, they're pretty, and they're, they're super, they produce really well. And I'm pleased with that because they're really easy. So if you want an easy flower that literally you just put a seed in the ground, it's really, there's not much to take care with it. You just put a seed in the ground. Zinnias are the way to go. They're beautiful and they, they are very prolific and they don't need much care. So zinnias, I, I, I like them a lot. These are, these are new, these just opened. These are my uh, dahlias. These literally just opened up yesterday. You can see they're all coming on. They they were like, oh, that that's gonna be pretty. Oh my gosh! Again, never grown these before. But look at that. Oh my gosh! They're just so full, and they're so pretty. Oh, that. Oh, okay. I've never done these before, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. Dahlias are coming along nice as well. Marigolds at the end, you can see the buds. They're they're starting to do something, but nothing nothing major yet for the marigolds. I think this is baby's breath. Um, yeah, this is baby's breath. You can see it's starting to starting to come up, and this is supposed to be uh, forget me nots, I think. So I'm waiting for those to flower, but the the baby's breath are looking really, really nice. Out of all this garden, um, it's all flowers except for these bushes. Wow, those are really big. <laughs> um, these are my ground cherries. I've never done ground cherries either. So if you don't know what ground cherries are, they're these like papery sacks, and apparently um, there is there is a fruit inside. And I don't know when to tell if these are ripe. I think it literally is. It turns yellow and falls to the ground. Um, but I don't know because I've never done, never done ground cherries before. But there's a lot, like three bushes here, large bushes, and I'm seeing a lot of these uh, papery uh, ground cherry sacks on these leaves. So that's exciting. Hopefully, we can get a good harvest um, off of these and give them a try. Next I have this uh, assorted wildflower mix, so um, I just literally put seeds in a container and mixed them up and 
put them in this row. Uh, I don't know what a lot of this stuff is, so let me show you what is flowering. This definitely looks like a poppy. I remember mixing in some poppy seeds. Um, there's lavender in here. Um, like, I don't know what that is. Like, is that lavender? Like, I don't know. We have these, and these, um, this might be calendula. If I'm wrong, don't judge me. Again, I literally mixed seeds in a container and put them in the ground. So, I don't know what any of this is. I'm just hoping that it flowers. And so far, I'm seeing that it is. This, uh, I think this is, um, asylum. I think that's how you say it. It's like a ground carpet. Maybe this isn't. This is. I remember, no, I don't know. I don't know. If you know what any of these are, leave it in the comments. Tell me what this is. I think that's a poppy. I'm pretty sure that's a poppy. Like, what are those? I don't know. This is like a carpet of snow, I think that's what those were called. So, yeah. If you know flowers, uh, because I clearly don't, uh, tell me what these things are. Sunflowers are getting big, guys. Look how tall. Oh my gosh. So, lots of different varieties with the sunflowers. I don't remember what I planted, where I planted it. So, I know majority of these, uh, they turned out to be, um... Mammoth sunflowers. Um, so like this big boy, you can see how big the stem is. Mammoth sunflower. And the reason, the reason I've had to plant mammoth is because, um, some of the seeds that I originally planted did not come up. So I just took some mammoth and figured, ah, that, that would be good. So all the struggles of a short girl. I can't, I can't reach. A thing so like I have to zoom in on everything so like that's a mammoth it's just open today I've been watching it and waiting for it to open but it just finally opened but like look at look at him like look how tall that is and I think it's really neat because the morning glories because there's morning glories right here right next to this is look at that just, whoa the leaves are in the way <laughs> just nature you know doing its thing it's literally wrapping the vines around the sunflower just climbing all the way up like I think that's so cool the way I kind of did this garden was I just kind of let it go crazy and obviously you can clearly see that I let it go crazy um but I think it's so neat because obviously nature went and these morning glories because they have no if they're not going to be stopped, they're not going to be stopped. And they went and they trellised up anything that they could possibly see. And I just think that's so cool because it's wild and it's untamed, but it's still beautiful. And that's, that's one of the main, the biggest reasons that I like gardening. And I like to see just nature, nature do its thing. And I, I just think it's the coolest thing. And these sunflowers opened as well. Again, not sure on the variety, but I mean, look at them. These may be the ruby eclipse. That may be what these are. Ruby eclipse. Is that a spider? <gasps> it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're gonna leave that be. I almost got eaten by a ginormous spider. Oh. No thank you. So. Uh, ruby eclipse. I think that's what these are. Ruby Eclipse Sunflowers. They are looking so pretty. Okay, so this is this is the interesting part. The morning glories on these vines, you can see they're everywhere. Um, they've taken over the path, so it's like getting through. I don't want to rip the vines, but like I kind of kind of have to because it's like you can't be taking up my space. Okay, so what's happening over here? I don't really know. Okay. Uh, these are Cosmos. Pretty sure. Um, I planted these late, so there is no flower on them yet. But there are, you see there, 
There are buds, just nothing flowering yet. Um, the sweet pea flowers, they're not doing good. Um, I think maybe I was supposed to trellis these. I don't know. It didn't say to trellis them, but like, they're all flat, and I don't really know why. See what I mean? Like, they just... A lot of times what happened was this is the lowest part because obviously everywhere else is so high and built up. Like, you can't see out the fence. Chickens would get into my garden and then they'd trample all over this because it was the lowest spot and it's where they paced back and forth wanting to get out. So, like, I think that's why some of them are dead. But they didn't flower. And they just, they... I don't know what happened to them. So I'm kind of disappointed about that. But, I mean, maybe they'll do something. I'll leave it till... Obviously, it's dead, but... Yeah, nothing happened with my uh, sweet peas. The sweet pea flowers, so... Who knows? Um, you can see this, uh... Cosmo. It's wanting to open. These are shaggy. Crazy. Um, this is Coxcomb, I think. Um, it's struggling to get through because the morning glories have, like freaking choked it out along with the cosmos going crazy so we'll see if these do anything i'm pretty sure this is coxcomb and then these over here are also cosmos all three of these varieties are different kinds but i don't remember what's what so we'll see what pops up oh and then uh our snapdragons have flowered ain't that pretty i've never done snapdragons before so i'm excited to see like how big these get, but I am liking what I'm seeing so far. There's that one. There's these pink ones. Uh, here's a yellow white one. And these are these are Lupin. Uh, thank you to the comment on last month's episode of Garden Tours. Thank you for that. Um, I forget your uh, username, but um, I appreciate I appreciate the help. Uh, now I know that this is Lupin, so thanks again. Um, but yeah, the the snapdragons and there's more over here. Get through the get through the jungle again. Um, and then there's this one right here for the snapdragons. Oh, it's so pretty. Ah, oh, I just I can't even. This garden is absolutely beautiful. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And like fuller. And flowers are just coming on. And I love, I just love to see it. Lots of things happening in my garden. Um, lots of life. It's very prolific. Um, lots of flowering things. Stuff is happening in this garden. So I'm really excited to be watching all of this grow and to be seeing every day I come out to like brand new treasures like every day you just come out and there's always something new from this garden so I'm really happy to see that to see that it's doing things because obviously this was like my goal I, I wanted a I wanted a flower garden that would produce and I wanted to see that come through and I'm I'm really pleased with how it's growing so far um, but next we're going to the produce garden. Let's go. Now we've been harvesting a couple things from here, um, which are beans, peas, and cucumbers. So a couple things we've been harvesting, but there's definitely a lot of growth. A lot of things have happened since I last showed you what's happening in the garden. So let me take you on a tour. Peas died in this row, so we ripped them out and we planted beans. They haven't sprouted yet, so waiting on those. These are my cucamelons, which you can see the little babies. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I've never done cucamelons before, but these are... It's very hairy down there, but... Cucamelons are... I see the buds. I see the little flowers. And I see the fruit. And I can't wait to try these out. 
never had them before, but I've seen a lot of people try them, and that's why I planted them because I wanted to. I wanted to try something new. So cucumelons are looking good. Asparagus yard long beans. There are leaves, but I'm not seeing flowers. Like I'm, I'm seeing like these. Like these are what? Are these new leaves? Are these buds? I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking they're just more vines. So no flowers yet on the asparagus yard long beans, but I'll be patient. I'm sure they'll come at some point. Sugar snap peas, looking good, nice and crisp. Um, which I'm really pe ple <laughs> get it, guys. I'm really peased, like pleased, but like they're the peas, so I'm like peased. Yeah, whatever. If you got it, I wouldn't have had to explain it, but I figured for those who couldn't get it, like I explained it. So there you go. I'm very peased with uh, the sugar snap peas this year because last time they were really, really hard and like stringy and I wasn't, I wasn't okay with that. So definitely happy with how these have turned out. Tomatoes everywhere. There's literally, we have so many tomatoes. It's just, it's a lot. Um, mammoth sunflowers in, okay, that's a weed. I gotta get rid of that. Um, these are dragon tongue bush beans. Zach, uh, gave me these seeds. He saved these seeds himself. And, I mean, they're just doing awesome. So, flowering. Hopefully we'll have some dragon tongue bush beans in little to no time. Carrots. I, I don't know what happened here. It's just, just, there's carrots and cucumbers. The cucumber vines have just kind of went crazy. Um, nasturtium doing its thing. Look at these. They're beautiful. So many flowers. Um, nasturtium amidst all of our muncher cucumbers, which is what these are. Like, look at this, guys. Look at that deep red. Oh my gosh. I, I really, I really am liking the nasturtium. I'm seeing a lot of my cucumbers are dying, so I don't know what that's about, but look, there's like these these yellow, these orangish uh, nasturtium, and then you got the yellow ones. Oh, they're just so pretty. Munch of cucumbers, um, doing, the, the, the plant isn't doing great, obviously, you can see that, but we're... We're still getting cucumbers. Lots of cucumbers lately. Because there's lots of flowers. Um, but definitely, definitely doing good. Blueberry tomatoes. I don't know what these are. I'm, I mean, they're tomatoes, obviously, but like... Look at that color. Like, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I don't know when they're ripe, but like... They're looking really good right now. Blueberry tomatoes. The plant is doing magnificent. Um, I don't know what plant, cucumber plants are what, but I know there's cucumbers here, cucumbers here, and cucumbers there. And all the cucumbers, the cucumber plants are producing cucumbers. And you know what? That's all that matters. Cucumber plants are producing cucumbers. We're good. I don't really need to know what variety they are. But the nasturtium, they're they're looking really cool amidst all of the cucumbers. Next, our cherry tomatoes are coming along. This whole row is cherry, and you can see you can see the tomatoes starting to come on. Everything is still green, but we're anxiously waiting for them to start producing. Um, and then this, this, like, all four of these rows are all tomatoes. Uh, these are brandywine. You can see here, brandywine tomatoes. Um, and they're looking pretty good. I think these are the zebra stripe. Yeah, they are. These are the zebra stripe tomatoes. And you can see the striping. The color's starting to come in on those stripes. Um, over here, these might be 
Oh, these are Roma tomatoes. I gotta stake these up. Um, Roma tomatoes. All the way down there. And these are probably black creme. Um, yeah, black creme tomatoes. And they're looking... If I can get through the leaves. They're looking pretty good, too. This whole row, all Roma tomatoes. And then down here we have our provider bush beans. Um flowering but we're also getting lots of beans lots and lots of beans we've already started uh already started canning uh we've canned pickles and beans so far so obviously getting enough to do that is awesome already early on so provider beans they're they're doing really good and then lastly we have our little tiny pepper plants um i think these might be bell bell peppers. I don't know if we have any bell peppers actually. I, these may be bell, but I don't know. Um, then over here, I'm actually seeing some peppers. These are jalapenos. I don't know if you can see that or not. But Jalapeno peppers. And they're still small, but I mean, they're trying their best. So peppers are coming along shortly um it's taken them forever to get to this point but like i'm surprised they even they're even producing honestly there's one so yeah uh not much happening in the produce garden because obviously produce takes a lot longer than flowers do but i would say next episode of garden tours for sure we're gonna have i think everything's gonna be producing definitely we're gonna have red tomatoes it seems really late in the season i don't know what happened if i just didn't plant on time because i feel like we should have it's august i feel like we should have red tomatoes by now but i mean maybe i just started seeds late i don't i don't totally know but i feel like we should have tomatoes by now at least so, but it's coming along. It won't be long now before they start ripening. So that'll be nice to see. But next garden tour for sure, we'll have, we'll have tomatoes. And I think everything in the garden should be producing by then. So can't wait to show you that. Lastly, I like to show off what's happening in the squash bed. It's really chaotic. Lots of things happening. I can't get in there so I can't show you everything but like I'll show you what I can because there's a lot of things going on in here and a lot of plants are starting to produce which is awesome to see but let me show you what I can show you so far so we have some pumpkins some pumpkins down here um oh gosh it's so it's so hairy um Spaghetti squash nestled in here. They're starting to get to color, so we'll have to harvest some of those soon. Um, but yeah, spaghetti squash, they're in here. Oh, uh, this guy. Oh my gosh, this is a really, really big, big pumpkin. Um, and I'm really happy to see that it's, it is as big as it is as it is, um, this is a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, and it is massive. Does not disappoint. Look at it all. I have to come in here and trim, because you can see powdery mildew is very, very much obvious. So, disappointing to see that, but you can see the flowers, the stupid potato bugs that are eating my plants. So frustrating. Gardening, gardening is frustrating sometimes, guys. You know, like, you do your best, and then the stupid little bugs come, and they just destroy your plants. It's annoying. Okay. So, I don't know what these are. No clue. Uh, they're doing good, though. Oh, these are my Jack B. Little Pumpkins. It's so cute. But I don't know what these are. I planted a assorted gourd mix. 
and I have like six plants of these, like whatever these are. So we'll see what we get because I don't really, yeah, I don't think there's anything on this one yet, no. Yeah, we'll see what we get with the assorted gourds because I don't really know. Um, watermelon flowering, but look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I'm so excited. I love watermelon. And I've never been able to grow it, so I'm intrigued to see how it does because I really am I'm putting money on this guy. I want to eat you, and I want you to be good. I need to be proud of you. I need to be proud of my accomplishments, so please be be good. Please. I'm not weird. I'm cheering it on. I'm it's going to it's going to be a better watermelon now because I did that. So, you know, here's note to all you gardeners. Go out and talk to your plants. It makes a difference. It really does. Trumboncino squash. Getting long. Looking good, though. Like, look at this guy. Okay. Look at this. All the way down. Like, what the heck? I'm excited to see the end result of these. Look at them all. The Trumboncino squash are going crazy. So I'm very, very happy with that. Here's a little one. Little Trumboncino. He will be big like his brothers, though. Or sisters. I don't know. Uh, butternut squash. Also looking good. Looking very good. There's a big, there's a big butternut squash for you. Oh, that's a bigger one. A little bit darker in color. Oh, there's another jacky little pumpkin. Another butternut squash. So yeah, lots, lots going on here. It's very chaotic. I can't really, I can't, obviously I can't get in there to show you what's happening. So that's what I can see so far. Um, and I'm very, I'm very pleased with it. So, I'm happy to see that growing and producing. I'm happy to see everything producing like it is. And it's being very, very prolific. And that's something, as a gardener, I, I love to see, obviously. Obviously. So, that's everything for this month's garden tour. Uh, we hope you enjoy. And if you stuck around to the end, thank you. Thank you for watching. So yeah, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya!